One of the most fun things you can do on the ice is spin and spin really fast. But this is not the best way to spin or spin fast. Hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Anna. We do traveling science shows at the Franklin Institute. And today we are doing a special edition of our Spark of Science here at the Blue Cross River Ring. We are gonna teach you guys some basics of ice skating and a little bit of the science behind it. Now, one of the most obvious things you might notice about when Anna spins is that when she brings her arms in and sits, she speeds up. And this is because of one of the most important laws in physics known as the law of conservation of momentum. Momentum is a measure of a body's motion. And just like energy and mass, it has to be conserved. Now, when you spin, we often call that angular momentum. And similar to any other momentum, it too must be conserved. Luckily, math can help us figure out angular momentum. Turns out that a body's angular momentum is measured by multiplying its moment of inertia by its rotational speed. Moment of inertia is a lot like mass. It's a measure of how hard it is to start or stop something spinning. Rotational speed is a measure of how fast you're spinning. It turns out that you can actually change something's moment of inertia by changing the shape of that object. So as Anna changes the shape of her body by either bringing her arms out or in, she is changing her body's moment of inertia. However, her body's angular momentum must be conserved. As she brings her arms out, her moment of inertia goes up. So her rotational speed, how fast she's spinning, has to go down. And the opposite is true for when she brings her arms in. As she brings her arms in, her moment of inertia goes down, so she starts spinning faster and faster. So if you really want to spin fast on the ice, what you have to do is bring your arms in and yes! Thanks for joining us for another special Spark of Science at the Blue Cross River Rink. Hope to see you at the Franklin Institute soon.